Hi guys, welcome to one more video and thank you so much for watching. Today we are going to discuss something very funny. Usually every time people get to know that I speak several languages, one of the first questions is what is your favorite language and what is your least favorite language? And I feel that this is very popular and interesting topic among everyone, even among people that don't speak several languages. I feel that everyone, even monolinguals, have certain opinion on what is the most beautiful language in the world and what is the ugliest. And today I want to discuss with you a little bit about what are the most beautiful and the ugliest languages in the world and why do we consider certain languages as ugly. So let's start. Before making this video, I wanted to check out what most of the world thinks about this topic. So I went online and started searching for top five most beautiful languages and top five ugliest languages. And I was very surprised to find out that when it comes to this topic, most of the people agree and share the same opinion, which is very surprising when you take in consideration that we all have different tastes and we all like different things. But when it comes to languages, for some reason, we all tend to agree in most of the cases. So when I was searching for top five most beautiful languages, I was visiting different web pages, different sources, and for some reason, and this is not surprising, Spanish was listed as one of the most beautiful languages. It was usually in the first place or second, but it was always considered as a beautiful language by everyone everywhere in the world. And I was like, wow, nice. It seems that most of the world agrees with me because Spanish, as you might know, I said that one million times is my favorite language. Uh, every single dialect of Spanish sounds beautiful to me and I really love that language, maybe not only because of the way it sounds, but also because it was first language I decided to learn myself. And seeing Spanish as one of the most beautiful languages, uh, considered as one of the most beautiful languages by many people, was really not surprising for me and I was like, yeah, I expected to see that. Another language that I expected to see on the list of the most beautiful languages is Italian. For some reason, everyone likes Italian, even people who can't say anything in Italian love how it sounds. Uh, everyone seems to be in love with Italy and when it comes to Spanish, I have seen few people saying that they don't really like it, but when it comes to Italian, they seem to be loved by everyone, which is not surprising considering how much is our perception of the country influencing our liking of the language and everyone loves Italy, everyone wants to visit Italy, everyone loves their food, so logically Italian sounds good to everyone. A language that kind of divides people is French. Some people love it so much that it always ends up on the top five most beautiful languages list, but on the other hand there is a group of people who really dislikes France and therefore they disliked French as well. I have to admit that French has never been one of my favorite languages. I never considered French any more beautiful than Spanish or Italian and to be honest I don't really like how it sounds. This is not meant to offend French people. I hope you don't get offended but it's just not my cup of tea and I have noticed that many people might like the way it sounds but they hate France and they hate French people, which is not that uncommon, and therefore they disliked French as well. So I would say that French, I have seen it on both most beautiful and most the ugliest languages list. So it seems that this is one of the languages that always divides people. Uh, one more language that I have noticed um, divides people a lot is Russian for some reason. I have met many people who are not speaking any Slavic languages trying to learn Russian and they considered it as so um, beautiful sounding, nice, uh, melodic language, which I personally don't share this opinion, but a lot of people like Russian. And on the other hand, as I said, our perception of what's beautiful and what's not is usually influenced by the way we see the country and in the last few years Russia is really not seen in a good light so I feel that Russian 
I have seen Russian on both most beautiful and ugliest languages in the world list. So I guess people are really divided when it comes to Russian, same as they're divided when it comes to French. And when it comes to ugliest languages, people seem to agree on those as well. And in the top five, I have seen few Asian languages, Chinese in particular, and then also Vietnamese for some reason. When it comes to Asian languages, I feel that people from Europe or the West in general have certain, I would say, prejudice towards Asians, and therefore they connect that prejudice with Asian languages. Asia is kind of closed for Western people to explore, and their languages are way hard, way too hard for any of us to learn. So I feel that that's where the dislike for Asian languages comes from. We don't have enough brains to learn them, we don't have enough knowledge of Asian culture, and therefore we might perceive those languages as ugly sounding. I personally don't consider any Asian language to sound ugly. To my ears, they sound kind of weird, probably because I'm really unable to learn any of them, and that's why my brain might perceive them as weird, but I never thought that they sound ugly. Another language that is that seems to be considered very ugly by almost everyone I know online or in real life is German. And this is something that I kind of understand, but I disagree with. I know people who speak German, but they don't consider, it, consider German as pretty language. I know people who don't speak German, but they dislike poor German so much that they don't even want to learn it. And on one hand, I understand it. It's definitely not melodic language. There is no way I would ever listen to music in German. I just can't. I tried, but I can't. It's not as beautiful as Italian. It's not as pretty as Spanish. But I really don't see why is it so ugly. Most of the people when complaining about German say that it's too harsh and it sounds really dominant and bossy which might be true, but I think that this is the beautiful thing about German. It does sound kind of harsh, but that's what I like about it. And I really don't believe that it sounds worse than any Scandinavian language, for example. Those sound kind of weird to me, I have to admit, but German really does not. And I have realized that the reason why most of the people dislike German is not because it sounds bad, it's because they have kind of weird kind of prejudice about German people. Uh, they're usually perceived as cold, um, unfriendly, too serious, not ready to have fun or to be friendly and open-minded with other people, which might be true. It might be like first impression that a lot of people get when they meet Germans, but I have never seen them like that. And that's probably the reason why I don't consider German as ugly. But for some reason, that poor language is on the list of top five ugliest languages in every single source that I have found. And also when I take into consideration people around me who are not polyglots, most of them seem to hate German. So I demand justice for German. It's really not that bad, people. So the moment of truth has come. I was thinking about skipping this part of the video and just not saying my own opinion, but I think I'm gonna be honest today and I'm gonna share my opinion when it comes to ugliest languages in the world. So as I said, I don't consider any language as ugly because they all have, they're all very rich and they have their nice parts, nice sides. But for some reason, to my ears, language that sounds the worst is Dutch. It is kind of similar to German. I have seen, I have read texts in Dutch and I have seen few words that I understand, but it just sounds so weird and so not even harsh, just weird to me that I really have to put it as language number one that I dislike, not hate, just dislike. I'm sure that it might sound beautiful to many people, but to my ears, it's really weird. And I remember the first time I heard Dutch was back when I was a student. I used to work as receptionist in a hotel part-time. And we, we used to have a lot of young Dutch people coming, you know, for holidays. 
And every time I would hear them speaking, I was like, ooh, that sounds weird. And even I, the biggest language lover in the world, I, I don't think I could ever learn it, not because it would be the hardest language out there, but because I really, really don't like how it sounds. So people, that was it for today. I wanna know, I want you to be honest and I wanna know what are your least favorite languages. Feel free to tell me what are your most favorite languages, what do you consider as the most beautiful language in the world, but I'm mostly curious about your least favorite ones. Feel free to be honest, it's, you know, free world, you can speak your opinion, and I want to see, does anyone agree with me that Dutch sounds kind of weird and German is really not that bad. So thank you so much for watching and see you next week.